I miss you. You know. We work good together. Always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you. Fancy meeting you here, Joe. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then again, it always rains here. None of this is real. And neither are you. Oh, but it is, Joe. I'll prove it to you. No thanks. But I'm giving you my permission. Don't be so scared. Come closer and see how very real I am. You can touch me. I know you want to. Go touch yourself, crazy lady. Oh, I will. And you can look, Joe. Will that be okay with your precious Ivy? I'll ask her when I find her. Still searching for her, are we? Well, go on then. I'll wait. Just let me know when you've had enough. I'll be in my office. Touching myself. Inside my empty mind, the 
the sun starts to rot as I hear the singing flower pot. The mother ate her child with her stick and slimy mouth. Through my eyes, every day, you cry. No, no, no! The pack got stuck. Come out, you damn thing! Come out! Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Hi. What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man, what the? Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. So, it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. You said she's dead. It's... Too late. It is never too late. Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. I think her name is Agnes. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. What's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. What bad things? Don't tell me you didn't notice. The whispering from the walls. Those shadows in the corner of my eye. 
they move when I look at them, but they're there all right. Watching. You're crazy. No. No, no, no. It's this place that is crazy. I'm only trying to fix it. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. You can't save everyone. I believe I can, but I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something from the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. I'll get everything ready. I have no idea what I'm looking for. You'll know it when you see it, he says. Yeah, right. I've switched it on. Whoa. Thanks for doing the dishes, Ives. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. I'm just... I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried, you know, this whole... Can we just forget about it? I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. Pathetic. 
pathetic, ugly bitch. Everyone's looking at you. Your fat, disgusting body on their tongues. Let me out! Please, just let me out! There is only one way out. And you know it. Because you've been there many times before. No, I don't want to. Quiet. Now, be a good fat little girl and crawl into that hole before anyone sees you. I'd bet my last cigarette that it is. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. All these bottles, are they poison? My god. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? Don't think too long.
I know you're just a pig, but I want to tell you this. What's up? Okay, come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. Ah, I see you have it. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy! Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes, now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it anyway. You can't just plant a dead brain inside her head. And yet, that is exactly what we'll do. I'll stay and watch just to say told you when this fails. That is quite all right with me. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here? Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Put some elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. And a little push? Hmm, maybe this way? It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! So this is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. Hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time for the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. Good. Because we have no more brains to spare, boy. i let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. 
I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. And what am I supposed to do? Hello? Where? What is... Hello? Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up... I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Bring me some clothes! I don't want to sit here all day. <laughs> 